the world go round. And so it is here in our Toastmaster world. Money is an important element to the success of our club. When I took over as treasurer last year from Julio, I was surprised to learn all of the ins and outs that money played in our club. I had always given Julio my $60 check whenever he came around and said, hey Sherry, it's time to pay your dues. But I hadn't really thought much about it. So when the opportunity came up for me to do an education speech, I thought this was an important topic. I think it's important for the members of the club to know when dues are paid, how dues are paid, and what do our dues go for. This is our money, it's our club and knowing is important. We'll start with the when. Many of you have received emails from me recently saying, it's that time of year again, dues are due. And I know it comes around quickly every year. We can collect dues from club members at any point in time throughout the year. Toastmasters International, however, wants us to pay dues to them every six months, April and October. It's what I refer to as the dues cycle for Toastmasters. Several of you have gotten emails from me stating, hey, I show you pay in the club through May or through August, a month that's somewhere in between April and October, and would you pay a smaller subset of the $60? This is my attempt to simplify the role of treasure, to get everyone on the dues cycle, so that I'm only collecting dues twice a year, March and April, and September and October. The more members that I can get on that dues cycle, April to October, the easier my job is as treasurer. Next is the how. How are dues paid? Dues can be paid either through check or cash. We have a club checking account. We have a club savings account. We have a club checkbook. We have a club debit card. All of these are tools that I use as the treasurer to manage our club dues and expenses. Many of you over the course of the time that I've been treasurer have asked me, why don't we take debit cards? Why don't we take credit cards? And in this day and age, when you can pay for your groceries with your phone, debit and credit card usage seems like a logical request. And with the advent of the Square technology, it's actually pretty simplistic to put in place. But the important thing to remember is a technology like that does come at a cost. Which ties me to my next topic, which is the what. What do our dues go for? $10 a month, 12 months a year, 40, 45, 50 members. Well, it's not the budget of a Fortune 500 company. It's not an insignificant amount of money either. And this is your money. So where is it going? What are we using this money for? Are you commenting on her eyes? <laughs> do, they, do they match? <laughs> The largest portion of our budget goes to the Toastmasters International Organization. Six dollars out of every ten dollars that you pay for club dues goes to Toastmasters International. Toastmasters International is an organization with an office in California that has a staff and a payroll with health insurance and all the things that go along with a organization. They, provide, they lend credibility to this club and they provide structure for us as a club. They coordinate the contests at the higher levels, coordinating them on an international level. They send out the monthly uh, publication, magazine that we get. They manage media, social media, out of the higher level. <coughs> they control the content that is in our leader, uh, leadership and communication manuals. They are the organization that provides structure to our club. The next largest area is our room rental. This room costs us money every week to use. While it's not a lot of money, $20 a week, 
It is money that comes out of our dues. And I send a check in regularly to Summit County. Here's our rent, Summit County. Thank you for the use of the room. The fourth expense area is supplies. Pens, pads, voting ballots. All cost money. You may be surprised to learn that ribbons cost our club money. A pack of 10 ribbons is $5. All of these things add up. The last category is miscellaneous. This is the catch-all category that everyone has in their budget that encompasses things such as refreshments when we have them for meetings, or the double-sided business cards that we printed out to promote our club, or the Red Rock event that we had last month over at uh, Red Rock Junction. We had to pay for that room, the use of that room. Those are the type of things that come into our miscellaneous I know it was quick, but I think it's important for you as members to know the when, how, and what of the money in our club. With that, I'll stop the timer and open it up to any questions you may have about dues. Are we using the square now? No, we okay. are not using okay. the square. It would be something that we as a club would have to decide, is it worth the expense associated to it? And do we want to spend that money? Nancy? You said the amount of money is not insignificant. How much money do we have? I'm a financial planner. <laughs> That's a great question. It's your money. Um, we have approximately between $3,500 and $4,000 combined between our checking account and savings account. We are a very healthy club. And uh, Julio's not here today, but I would say I grant him a lot of that. He has uh, been very judicious in managing the money uh, for the club over the course of the last four years. So, Comment on that. Most Toastmaster clubs probably have $100 or less in their account. Yeah. Jerry, does the Toastmaster have any scholarship plans where someone can't afford the dues that they Dues have to be used for the benefit of the club, and there are very specific guidelines on how our dues are used, and paying dues for club members is something that is actually against the guidelines. We cannot do scholarships, uh, we can, and that's scholarships for, um, to pay for uh, books at, an, at a university, but we also can't do scholarships to pay for dues uh, for club members as well. Um, you can't uh, pay for causes, uh, those types of things. So they're written into the bylaws of uh, Toastmasters. Angie? Right, is it Angie? Yeah, I didn't know. Oh, I'm sorry, I thought I saw you raise your hand. Karen. Uh, what about a PayPal account? Um, you know, I have not looked into PayPal, but that would be definitely, I think PayPal is a, a free, I don't think there's a cost associated. Well, with per, it. per transaction. Oh, is there a per transaction cost? Okay, so we would have to look at what the what that cost is and is it worth the expense to, to balance it out with the convenience, how many members would benefit from it. So I'll definitely look into that. Uh, John? Uh, having been treasurer of organizations before, it's kind of a thankless task. So thank you for doing this. <laughs> and is, is there something we can do to make your job easier? Uh, to pay your dues on time. Pay <laughs> I would say the hardest job I have is collecting the dues and getting the dues on time. Uh, is uh, And if you have a question, I'm human, I make mistakes. If you have a question, don't hesitate to ask me. I thought my dues were paid till here. Let's, and let's double check the receipts and make sure. So if something doesn't seem right, you know, let me know. We have your dues. <laughs> you have your check for <laughs> Okay, with that, if there are no more questions, I'll go ahead. Oh, I would sorry, say just if somebody did want to use, you know, PayPal or something like that, they pay the fee on top of the dues. You know, that's a smart idea. We can add that into paying. You have to just add that. Fee. 